Hi, this is Paul. In this video, we will be going over how to program a basic IXG system consisting of one IXG-DM7HID, two IXG-2C7 tenant stations, and the IXG mobile app. The programming PC and IXG system will need internet access to create and activate an administrator ID for the IXG system. Open the IXG support tool. The login screen will appear. Make sure that you have administrator selected and enter admin for both the ID and password. Click login. If this is the first time using the IXG support tool, the new system wizard window will open. If this is not the first time, click File in the top left corner and select Create New System. Enter a site name. Then select whether this is a single building or multiple building system. In this example, we will select single building. If we had selected multiple buildings, we would have had to select the number of buildings from the dropdown. Please be aware that once you've created a single building system, it cannot be changed to multiple buildings later. Enter a system ID and password. Fill out the site information including the address of the installation and any pertinent notes. Enter the installer information including a company email. Do the same for property management information. It's important to enter a valid email as that will be used for future notifications and to recover account information. Click Finish to continue. From the menu on the left, expand Site Settings and click on Building Information. Here you can enter the name of the building. Click Update when done. Select Unit slash Stations from the menu on the left. At the top of the screen, under Display Settings, select the maximum number of station and apps that will be allowed in each individual tenant. Next, we can add units to the system. In the Building Number column, click the empty field and select the building. In our example, we can only select Building 1. Tab over to the next column and enter a unit number. Click the Select button next to the Unit Type column to choose the type of unit. In this example, we will select the Entrance first. A default name will appear in the Unit Name column. You can edit this if you would like. Under the Door Entrance Station 1 column, select IXG-DM7. Proceed to the next rows and fill in the information as needed. In this example, we will make this next row a residential unit. In the Master slash Tenant Stations column, we will select the IXG-2C7. Because we are not having a door station with this tenant, we will skip that column. It does have an app, so we will select Intercom App in the App 1 column. We will continue to fill out this page till all stations have been entered. When done, click Update to save your settings. A pop-up will open letting you know that the call destination for the units will be assigned automatically. Click Yes to continue. Clicking No will require manual configuration of these settings, which will not be covered in this video. Since the system contains IXG mobile apps, the IXG WGW gateway adapter needs to be registered to the system. From the menu on the left, expand Gateway Registration and select Enable. Optionally, the station name can be edited, along with other settings on this page. Once configured, click Update. Select Gateway Selection from the menu on the left. Select the gateway in the Gateway Number column. When done, click Update. If you want to edit the station's number or names, you can do so by expanding Station Information and selecting Identification. From there, you can edit the names and numbers. In this example, we will not be making any changes. In the ID slash Password section, you can edit the ID and password for individual stations. If you are streaming the entry panel or door stations to a VMS, this is where you would enter the Onvif and RTSP's ID and password. In this example, we will not be making any changes. The stations in this system will now need to be assigned IP addresses. From the menu on the left, expand Network Settings and click IP Address. In this video, we will be using the Batch IP Address configuration to assign IP addresses to the station. Click Batch IP Address Configuration button at the top. Enter the starting IP address in subnet mask, and then select all stations in the table below. Click OK to continue. A pop-up will appear confirming the settings change. Click OK. Please be aware that a default gateway will be required for the IXGWGW. Consult with your network administrator for that information. When entered, click Update. 
Review your network settings and click Update when all settings are correct. When using the IXGWGW, the DNS must be filled out. Consult with your network administrator, enter the information, and then update. Next, the IXG stations will need to be associated. From the top menu, select Connection and click Association Settings. Here, stations created in the previous steps will be associated to stations found on the network. Select a station from the station settings list on top and from the stations list below. Click Apply. This will assign the station name and IP address to the station. After associating, the stations will reboot with the new IP address and name. This process may take a few minutes. If you've mistakenly associated a station, scroll down to the associated stations list at the bottom and remove the association. Once the stations have rebooted, the remaining settings will need to be uploaded to each station. Select Connection from the top menu and click Upload Settings. Select All Stations and click Settings. Check the status column and make sure each station's display success. The IXG mobile apps require an administrator account to be created. To do this, select App Integration from the top menu and click Create New Administrator ID. Here, a unique ID and password as well as your email address will need to be entered. Upon entering the information, click Create. Please keep in mind that only one administrator ID can be used per email address. A verification code will be sent to the registered email address in the last step for activation. Select App Integration from the top menu and click Activate. Enter the administrator ID and six-digit verification code and click Activate. Under App Integration, click Upload Settings to IXG Cloud Server. Pop-up will ask for the IXG Cloud Server ID and password. Enter the information and click Login. A new pop-up will show the system name. Click Upload. A license agreement will appear. Click Agree. If the system has IXG-2C7s, you'll be asked if you want to upload the QR code to them. Click OK. The program will automatically upload. If the program does not upload automatically, you can manually do that. To do this, select IP Integration from the top menu and select Upload QR Code to the station for app registration. Select the unit to send the QR code to and click the Upload to Stations button. Check the Status column for Uploaded. Additionally, the QR code can be exported as a PDF document by selecting Export QR Code for App Registration under App Integration. Under App Integration, select Manual IXG Cloud Server and Gateway Sync. Select the IXGWGW and click Sync. At this point, your system has been programmed. The IXG mobile apps will need to be downloaded and installed on the mobile devices to continue. Search for Aphone IXG in the Apple App Store for iOS devices or Google Play Store for Android devices. For additional information, visit www.aphone.com/home. Thanks for watching.